All right, boys, let's get it, man. We are in the loser's bracket. Tough. We lost it. You saw that first game, how we lost. Didn't clutch up defense, offense. Got to play better. I like my decisions. Got to execute. The game's about execution. I know how it works. I know how the game's played. I know what plays to call. Just got to execute. Let's get right into this. The loser bracket. After losing the first game, the loser's bracket is like 15 games in a row. But you only get the game 15 in a row if you can go ahead and win one at a time. That's what we're going to try to do here. Um, we're playing OG 2K YouTube. Played this guy a lot on the, the just playing Madden for the most part, man. So definitely going to be, uh, you know, ready and, you know, everything meta is meta is meta. Uh, if you guys want to watch these live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. If you like me getting right into these games, gameplays like that, let me know in the comments that these these style of videos are it. Also, man, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, we're closing in on 40,000 YouTube subs. That's a big number I want to hit, man. I'm proud of it. want to hit that before Madden 24. That's kind of crazy, Madden 24. Definitely feel old. I am 35 years old, boys. Check in below with your age. Um, probably one of the oldest man players that's playing at this level. So I want to keep it that way. He's running a little tight play action. We're running the spinner dinner. You guys know. Just put a contain next to your DN. He's going to glitch everything. That's how Madden's working right now. That's what it's about. Uh, yeah, I'm not pressing. Off coverage is kind of meta now. Uh, the thing with off coverage, it plays a little bit better. Defense, you don't get that delay from the bumping. You don't you know, slow down the receivers. But you do bump into people a lot. Once again, there it is. Double contain, just glitch around. We get a sack by Pat Pete. We get a big third and 18 right here. Once again, I'm just move those guys in, put them in contains. He audibles out the trips tight end. We're fine. Everybody's manned up here. I might put a deep blue in the middle. I press B manually, that one guy. There we go. We're going to put a deep blue on the left and double team. Oh, he gets the ball bounce off his head. I had medium knockout. He might have knocked that pass out, but I didn't get it. But it was no knockout. So bounce off his head. Fourth and 18 early. Fourth and 18. It's tough. Like, what do you call here? Like, you you played great defense the first two. Do you switch it up because it's such a long yardage? Uh, now I probably – and once he audibles to this, I think he's just going to chuck the ball here. Uh, I called timeout because we were kind of in shambles. That audible kind of had me on a loop, had me come my head kind of spinning a little bit. So, call the timeout early. It's something I'm, I've never really been doing in my Madden career is calling timeouts, like, other than under two minutes. But – he kind of had me shook right there. I can't lie. So I've been getting better at doing that here. He audibles. He's got a tight end at running back. You see people do this a lot. And he, he, aud he flipped and audibled. Five wide here. Stack to the right. I'm off coverage. Deep blue in the middle. We got good coverage on everybody. Nothing doing. We're click on SWAT. Beautiful SWAT right there. Ty Law. Fourth down. That's how you stop eggs. It's a lot easier to swat those things when they're deep down the field because you have more time to click on than those quick little 10 yard eggs. But good job. Way to stay there. Man, if you guys are struggling with eggs, I would recommend the swap button. You see people talk about height, but if we can rewind this, if you talk about height, Ty Law is probably, he's on Donald Parham right now. So you're looking at 5'10, 5'11. But if you get that swat, I mean, if you get the right animation, you're higher. You're you know you're beyond the, the six eight that Donald Parham is. If Donald Parham is six eight and jumping, Ty Law is probably at you know seven and a half feet in the air right here. And that dude, like that's what you want. That the SWAT lets you jump so much higher than going for a pick. And since everybody has pick artists on my field, you want those guys to come catch the pick, even if it's fourth down. If if Atwater comes and catches this, he could go to the crib with just lineman back. So. But we get a stop nonetheless, and I'm telling you guys, make sure you guys are using that swap button. But this is where I, I've just been struggling inside the red zone, man. And, you know, he's doing a loop out of 3-3-5, which you'll see it a lot. We try to run here, and we just get somebody just unblocked, 54 Leonard Floyd. Just, uh, I don't know if I'm wasting plays doing that, you know, but for me, it's like, I feel like you got to try to mix in a run. That's why I like running New Orleans. It has a lot of good runs inside zones, 0-1 traps, bases, everything, but... He's running a little man. You see he's with a press right here. He's trying to double loop me. Uh, I can't tell you what to do against double loop, but we're going to try to hit a trail route here. We get good protection right here. Just nothing open. Good defense, man. Sends four. Everything kind of covered. And now we're in third and field goal for the most part. Third and 16 on the 23-yard line. Just, I mean, where do we go? What do we do here, boys? 
Um, this is a, a play where you got to know, like, dude, I'm probably not getting this. As much as you want to have, you want to be the man, I'm the, pr- you know, you just got to realize I'm probably not getting this, you know, because it's just, it's just a tough spot on the field to get 16 yards. I just want to just dump the ball off to Allen and just truck. Oh, dog, we can't get stood up right there. This is my fault. Maybe this is old. Maybe I'm a boomer, but I, maybe I got to lower my head right here. But I just felt like I could truck. And one thing, I, I mean, I hope you guys a lot here, is that the juke move is not good head to head, right? It's just not. If I wanted to juke, I got to run on a 45 degree angle. Like instead of going straight at Cromwell, I got to go to, you know, run to the sideline on a 45 and juke back a 45. But he kind of messes me up because he's clicked on right here. I would stay clicked on in this situation and try to get a secure tackle, even a hit stick to stop getting from the first down. But he chooses to click off, and right there I got kind of popped from the click off and tackled. And I'll be honest, I'm, I am i don't know if I fought for this tackle battle, but look at my stamina, right? And this guy, two guys around me. One thing that happens a lot in this game is when you're battling for tackle battles and you lose your stamina, you're going to get the ball punched out. This is the 99% of the time when you see a strip fumble, it's from getting punched out in these battles. So uh, I'm glad this one ended fast because I could have fumbled on that. So you get a stop. Fourth and one right here. You already got a stop in the game. Uh, it's just a tough call. Like, do you go for this early? Uh, you just take your points, and I'm going to take my points. Might be a little a little, a little nut call, but I just feel like it was such a possession game. I can't let that first stop go for naught. That's why we take our three, and, and he's probably definitely happy about that. But, you know, you got to take your three. You got to just take some points in the first half. It's definitely a, a conservative play call there for sure. Uh, the world's play action play, but we get after him. Big sack right there. He no huddles. This is the world's play action play. So, you know, you got to get used to that. Back to bunch. You got to be playing bunch trail right here. You got I'm on the right side. I got flat routes. I got the tight end. Oh, let's see. Bunch trail again. Just guard the tight end. Oh, and I miss boomer fingers. And somehow he gets a first down on that play. Tough. Back to the bunch. So used to playing this. Once again, bunch trail corner route knocked out oh i would have stayed there i could have got a pick off of that but that would have helped with the knockout once again audibles from bunch to tight you're going to see a lot of this in meta football now either tight the bunch or bunch the tight definitely different ways to defend these formations so it, it is tough to defend both oh nice out route there went with a little uh flood i guess but i mean night train you can't be getting beat by carmichael that's just not acceptable you know it's really not once again, I mean, we're going to rock the same bunch defense. We're getting some loop in action. Get a swap from Lawrence Taylor. Second and 10. This time we put a cloud flat on the right to try to stop those corner routes. He motions out here. Now, when they motion out, I got to bring this guy down. Or I got to take my user. Oh, I didn't have anybody on the tight end. So I couldn't dedicate my user over here. I got to Because my responsibility is the tight end. But when they motion this guy out, he's on a wheel route. And they're going to snap throw. And that's what I give up. And... Ah, I don't make a tackle right there. I'm trying to spam A. And it's just, I, when you spam A, it makes you take bad angles like that. And we give up a big 30 yards on a running back wheel. So that's tough. And here we are. We're in the red zone. End zone back up against my wall. So I feel good. I got space. And I just tackle like a boomer again. Now this one is tough because I think they're going to click me on the guy, Ty Law, that's guarding this route. Right here, I'm thinking Ty Law. Right, so I can go for a strip and slow him down, and then that other guy can tackle him. But they click me on that guy and mess the play up. And bad tackling right now, actually, boomerish tackling, real boomer moments on these tackles. Uh, tough, tough. You let little plays get too many yards here, and we're gonna spread our line, stop stretch, and nobody blocked anybody. And he gave the ball to an offensive lineman and scored. So bad defensive drive. I don't know what else to say. I mean, definitely some. Bad execution there. Here, we're, we're bagged. I run this play to throw this flat route, and for some reason, I just don't like I don't know why I don't like throwing it. You know, that's why I run this play. Boom, why? Right now, why? Right now, why? Get six yards, why? That's why I run this play, you know? But didn't want it. I stared it down and didn't throw it, you know? 
So we do here. Little Saints in. Okay, I like it. He's running man coverage here. When he runs 3 3, it's just a three man rush. We're going to go up top. High ball. Waddle. Boom. Caught. That's tough. He wasn't open at all. Waddle did not beat this guy at all right here. Right here, I'm kind of expecting him to win a little bit. He doesn't win at all. We high ball it. Why? If he doesn't click on, I, I, there's no chance I ever catch this. If he doesn't click on, there's no chance I ever catch this football. But he clicks on, gives a one-on-one -on -one animation, and we get a high ball. So, I uh, learned my players' tendencies, my opponent's tendencies right now. When he's in 3-3 three, three wide, uh, he's going to play coverage. When he's in 3-3 in three, three to the normal, he's going to play a little more blitz. This is coverage. And and it I'm not going to say I learned this instantly. But watching the game back, I definitely uh, feel it right there as my run. Everybody was bagged right there. We would pick up some yards scrambling. Once again, this is 3-3 three, three wide. It's just a three-man rush. We're going to have A right here. Boom. Big catch. Nice. Right there, Waller, who was the best player in the game during this during these games for sure. There's some new tight ends coming out. Zacher, shout out to him. So we get a lead. Good drive right there. Waddle made a big play, so we got to take advantage of that. When you're agging with Waddle, things are going good for you. Once again, audibles from bunch to tight, or from tight to bunch, bunch to tight, tight to bunch, all those good things, you know. It's got to be knocked out. Ooh, a little bit a little bit far away, and you'll notice that. Man coverage right now, man. If you're clicking on, you got to click on your receivers and get it. It's like real life almost where you got to click and come back to the ball, get away from those DBs so they can't knock out the ball. That's kind of the name of the game right now. If you guys are continue watching this tournament or you're watching any comp Madden right now, when you see this man-to-man, -man, you got to get away. Oh, and we get a big pick right there from Woodson. That's why everybody on my team will always have pick artists. I don't care what other ability is on the field. You don't make this play right here without pick artists. You don't. It's it's not a pick without pick artists. Boom, right through his body. I pay AP on Woodson for that pick artist, so that was a big play. And we get the ball, so we're feeling good. We're grooving. We're grinding. Let's get it. I'm starting to realize, you see I'm doing some different route combos right here uh, because I'm realizing he's in coverage every time. And his coverage, it's not that unique. He kind of goes with two deep thirds on the outside to stop corner routes and C routes. And then, you know, man coverage underneath the whole way. So, uh, I, obviously, I know that now because I've played the game. But it took me, I don't want to say it took me a while, but it took me a while to figure that out. He's got, see, you see left side, we got double coverage. Elway gets up out of there, picks up 15. Three-man rush not getting it done for him. I mean, it's good defense. It really is. It's good coverage. You get two extra zones. You get all man coverage. Uh, you're not bringing any heat. And I get a flag, which is tough. With the runoff, man, it's tough to audible motion and hot route everybody. Here, we're definitely looking for uh, Darren Waller right here on this corner route or the angle route coming back across. Pretty much a two-man read. When I, I'm, and when I say two-man read, it's really a two-man read. We have Waller. Get away from that knockout. Good job. Nice play. Inside the 10 now, we got to execute. Old reliable. Two flats to take away the zones and two slants to just pick apart the middle. They just got to get open. Who's going to get open? Oh, nobody. I, I ate it right there. Ate it. Ate the ball. Took a sack. I, I might do the... Uh, no, we're a little different here. Now, this play is interesting. Damn. But what I have is a slant to Waller. Wheel route, flat route. In route to Mike Williams with short end. Then I have this guy that's on a stop and then go across the field. So let's see if I can get something on this play here. As we see, Waller is about to be wide open. He has to use a Waller. Just has to. Now, I need my Mike Williams to win on this in route. He's got short in. I need you to win, and you're going to be wide open. And then look at that. Everybody just bumps into everybody, and we get a catch anyway. Look at this. Play. Like, this is one reason why. Like, Look how M Waller is about to be just wide open. I mean, this was the most egregious, most egregious illegal contact in the history of Madden right here. That I almost, damn near, doing me a pick. Look, how, I mean, look how open he is about to be. And then just like, it's one reason why I just hate the game, dude. Look at this. Boop. Bumps into him. He gets back. And we're, I mean, we're throwing that ball already. 
because we're until we see his user we're anticipating and just highball saves me once again he clicks on I don't think I catch that without him clicking on. When you click on, you get a chance for picks or swats, but you also get a chance to move your guy out of the way so he doesn't knock the ball away. But now we're up by 10, and we get the ball at half, so we're, we're, we're grooving right now. We're comfortable. Uh, no big plays is how I'm kind of living right now. He goes to the trips tight end. Uh, we're just going to send him here. When he motions over here, it's either blocking or a wheel route. Motions him back. Motions him out. We're a man up here. That's okay. Shade up so the running back doesn't run by that save. He audibles again. This is just obnoxious. Just trying to get me in a in a in a bad defense, you know. But we're fine. And he gets me right there. Oh my goodness. Look at how many audibles there were. And his running backs want to streak out of the backfield. Just Just that's just like tough. Audible motion, audible. I don't know how he had that much time to do all that stuff. He might have just called a timeout or something, but that was an obnoxious set of downs right there. And we give up a touchdown. It's tough. Chris Johnson, CJ2K. That's why he's fast. So we're right back in the game. Up by t up by 10. Now we're up by 3. Let's close out this half getting some points here. Like I said, we're starting to realize he's just in coverage every time. Just a three-man rush. No glitch blitz. No nothing. Big dot. Mike Williams. Uh, we're knocked out by two people. Knocked out by the guy without knockout. One of the reasons I just I just don't like knockout because like it's just not good defense and you're getting rewarded for it. I mean I use them. I had people in the comments. Oh, well, you, that's what you use too. No duh. I mean you. Got, I mean it's not a knife fight though. You gotta bring the best thing in the game for it. And just because somebody runs it or somebody uses it doesn't mean they they like it. You know I don't make the game. I just play the game, boys. We're getting a little press here on third down. Gonna motion this guy out. Look for a C route. We're looking for Mike Williams. We're looking for Waller. And then at the end of the day, we're looking for Waddle deep again. We're gonna have Waller over the middle. Boom! Big catch. Doesn't get knocked out. First down. This time we're gonna get a little quick snap. Hit the out route to Waller. Break a tackle. Get this inside of 30. I went out of bounds to save a timeout. Now low key, I might have could have chucked that guy and got more. But where we're at on the field, want to save that. I only have one timeout. 47 seconds left. Leave the whole playbook open. If I if I don't call a timeout, right, we, we might be sitting at you know 30 seconds right now. It might have been a 20 second uh, go out of bounds right there. So we're gonna have, I mean, this is pretty much standard standard man coverage routes right here, angle route, Y route, it's just standard. And like as we get a touchdown, but like people don't understand that like, dude, I like it's crazy to say this, but I'm not throwing to anybody but the running back or why they're going to cross each other's face all these other guys are just i mean waller might be an option but he's putting so many zones on both sides all we want to do is take these and just spread out the zones and just make it a two-man game this is literally two on two that's what we're playing uh we're he has three guys against my two right i know that williams was short and it should win on this route allen i mean we're 50 50 on running back angle routes with no ability but this is the dilemma I want to put his user in. It's not a five-man route. It's a two-man route. And honestly, B should be on like a hitch or a smoke screen just because he's standing here like a jerk. You know, we got to put him out here out of the way. But it's just a two-man route. You see? That's it. Both of you guys are open. Once again, they bump into each other. It just, it's just, it makes it tough, man. I've always loved man coverage meta because of this. I've been good at route combos. But the, just like, let these dudes be open, you know? Let him be open. Bumps into the DB right there. I mean, it helped a little bit. I kind of got a little pick play right there and hit Y and get a touchdown. But, like, man coverage is not – it's not – every receiver is not an option every play. You know, I'd like to be able to tell you guys I see the whole field, see everything. But I'm, I'm a big pre-snap player. I have an idea of where I want to go with the football before the snap, especially when somebody plays the same defense every single snap. Like, uh, I'm comfortable against that. And I'm comfortable just having two options, not five. The other three options need to get out of my way. And a lot of times you'll see me put them on flat routes, put them on smoke screens or streaks. Like, literally, get out of the way, dude. Don't bring an extra defender to my way. If you guys ever played basketball, man, don't get away from the guy with the ball. You're just bringing another defender to him, man. You're just clogging the lane. 40 seconds here. He's got two timeouts. Great defense there with the flag. He's going to go up top. Click on SWAT. Good job, Sean T. Should have got around the ball right there. Should have got around to the ball. Like I said, when they ag this far down the field, it's a little bit easier to have time to click on and just go swat those things, man. 
the ags you want to go for are the 10 to 15 yard ones where people don't have that quick reaction time to get those type of swats like that. But I kind of like this adjustment against Bunch. You see, a lot of people like the corner route. I like putting that flat out there. Once he does that, I'm kind of in shambles a little bit, and I call a timeout. Yeah. You can see how obnoxious audibling around and motioning really is. It's like they're just trying to crab you. They don't have no intention but to just mess up your coverage. That's why at the end of the day, man, you got to just sometimes just stay in man coverage. No cute zones, no nothing nice. That's what I'm in right here. I like to shade out and shade up every play, so I guard the outside corner routes and stuff. He goes for A, we knock it out pretty easy. You know, and then I can kind of get the middle for myself. I like that deep blue in the middle because the deep blue in the middle stops that egg, like the easy one that's right up the middle to a tight end. He might even audible again. Yep, there it is, audibles. to a bunch. He's only got five seconds on the clock, though. Uh, that's got to be knocked out. Night train. Good job. Fourth down. He's got to punt the ball here, I think. I would, I mean, I have no timeouts. I probably would punt the ball. I don't know. You're down by 10. You don't get the ball at half. You probably won't even get points even if you get this. I don't know. His motion is running back again. He gets a delay. I want him to punt. I don't want him to go for that. I want the ball. So I accepted the penalty. Let's see if we can get some points here. Let me see what I do here. 20 seconds, no timeouts. Everything has to go out of bounds. Will route here. We, I mean, we don't really have nothing. Maybe why, but he's got double cover. He's got good coverage here. So we just try to throw like a back shoulder fade to our boy uh, Marcus Allen here. Maybe he had potential. If there wasn't five people on him, you know. 14 seconds. Dottie. It's 48-yard line. No timeouts. Can we actually get out of bounds here? Can we do it? Waller is blinking. I don't have double me at this point. I have grab and smash. Uh, I feel like double me is just asking to throw interceptions. Four-man rush again. Just hit it be good job. Wild high ball. Get out of bounds. Nice execution. Really beat him on that drag. I I, I mean, oh, uh, we got a little bump. This one thing, I'm telling you, it's just so inconsistent. Watch. The strong safety over here is actually on Waddle. You know, and I don't know why Waddle was in the game this much. Like he's really not supposed to be there, but you know, hey, good hustle, kid. He gets a bump on and look how open the drag is. Nice job. Big yards. Field goal before half, 27-14, and we get the ball. Seal this game away. Should run on first down. I don't know what I'm doing if I'm not running just to keep the clock. Although this is not good good to run against, honestly. Although he dives, so we got life. But then I just, I, I swear, you guys want to see me rage? Ask me to run the ball. Ask me to run the ball, and you'll see me rage because it's so random. Kelsey, nasty streak. This guy's on the ground. These guys are my... If you just touch this free safety, he's going to get blown all the way off the field. Look. Just... Oh, my goodness. Just... I, I get so pissed running the ball. But we got three yards. Keeping the clock moving. It's not super milk time. I feel like you can still play your game right here. You don't got to really concern yourself with the clock, even if you're up 13. Yeah, but it's this... I mean, he's the same type of coverage every time. Definitely bad. I had to, I had Waller there. Sometimes it's all about the clock. Sometimes, like when Waller is open, like boom, he's he's open. You know, you don't know what this guy's doing. I sh maybe should have had a streak. It's probably a deep blue, but like, I he doesn't have the biggest window to throw the ball to. It is a deep blue, but you know, I missed that. And also, when you have a lead like this, man, you gotta take your time. I might put him on a streak here. Or probably a C route again. This is probably my best man-beating play. See, perfect example of what I talked about man coverage, boys. See, I put him on an option route, which is going to beat man coverage a little bit better, right? But he's going to wind up right in here. He's going to wind up, and option route almost runs 10 yards, right? Like, this was a better option to throw to, but I know that if I do that, he's just going to run into the slant. He's going to be in the middle just clogging it up with, with the defender. So instead of that option route, I'm just going to put him on this whip route. 
This is not going to do anything but take a defender away from the play. And when I say the play, I mean the, the meat of the play, the middle, in between the numbers. You know, I just want to open this up. Honestly, he should be on a streak. I don't know why my C routes never work. It's my account is glitched. But, uh, you know, it's the same thing. Williams, Waller, maybe Waddle late, but he's not really going to get open on that route. He hasn't been, but he could. It's a good route. See how much this guy's all the way out of the window here? He's all the way, like, he's not an option. It's just, I mean, Waddle's actually just frying. And I see it. Good read. Boom. High ball. Get up out of there, Jalen Waddle. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, look at Cromwell, who's manned up on Waddle. Like, how can you predict these things, dude? Like, I, you just can't. It's so, man coverage is so unpredictable. He just puts a, a zone and he just bumps that guy and we're out of there. Baja. And we we actually waddled. We actually did the waddle. Big waddle here. Wah, 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 waddle. I'm going to go for two. I mean, I, I, I probably would not go for... I'm not going to go for two. I just want to say if I'm going for two, I'm trolling. Way too early to go for two. We're up 20. Now I think he gets into just chuck the ball mode. Yeah, see what I mean about them little closer eggs? They are way tougher to deal with the closer eggs. Just audible to cover four here. Yeah, he goes on like he goes on like a rapid I'm chucking the ball spree right here. And honestly, it honestly he he does way better actually just, just closing his eyes and chucking the ball. Look, like look. Third and nineteen. Fourth and nineteen. Audible, audible, audible. I really should double car Michael right here. He has no other big receiver. But we're sending six people, so I might even bail out all the way to car Michael right here. No, nah, I'm just still in the middle corner route. Sack. Down by twenty. Game I mean game is cooked. We're gonna run right there, run some clock. We might even run here. Yeah, he went back to nickel. He went to nickel normal. We're gonna run, pick up nothing. Thirty and eight here. I mean, he's back in the same defense here. We got Waddle on a streak. If he gets pressed, he is short out. That's why he's in the game. Uh, we'll see what he goes to. Good read right there, Mike Williams. Once again, I mean, watching this game back, I definitely benefited from a lot of bumps and rubs and all that good stuff. Alright, we're gonna just run the ball here. This one more run. Can we crib it? Can we crib a run? I just wanted to stop before the first down. That's the fourth quarter. Third and three here. <clears throat> we get a delay game. Third and eight. Right here, I know I got this fade, and it gets like, oh, I put him on a streak. Never mind. I'm just talking and talk. Nothing. Just take a sack. Kick a field goal. Take the lady. Kick a field goal. Free 30 seconds off the clock. I mean, this game is a flood. But he goes into chuck mode. Actually starts hitting some passes in chuck mode. He kind of went crazy in chuck mode, I'm be honest. I'm glad he wasn't in chuck mode all game. He was actually trying to audible and stuff. Pick. Tough. Scores a touchdown. I'm gonna get this two pointer. I don't know what he did for to go for two. Yep. Sean Taylor gets a free two. Goes for onside. Doesn't get it. GG's. So we win that game. I mean, we played well. We're. I, I felt like we played well the first game. Uh, we didn't execute a couple plays. We could have easily won that one. We were in a super position to win the first game. You guys watched it. You guys liked the video. That game, I mean, we are clicking on all cylinders that game. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that was the best op. I mean, clearly mismatched. We definitely had some big plays, some big knockouts, some big picks, the big swats. I'm telling you guys, get used to using that swap button. It actually is OP this year. 
uh, it's just it's just it's hard to use. You guys have some quick fingers. I am 35, so you know if I can do it, you guys can do it. Trust me. But that was game one of the losers bracket. We got a long way to go, boys. Make sure you hit that like button, man. I appreciate you guys kicking it with me and let me know if you're learning stuff from these videos. I try to. I mean, I'm telling you guys everything that I do and why I do it and stuff like that. I mean, the ebook is on Madden Turf. You guys can find that link below as well. New Orleans, definitely going to update it. I've been running tons of different setups, tons of different formations, trying to mix in audibles because you can see how annoying that is when you're playing blitzing and you're playing coverage and you're not base aligned, so people are moving all over the place. And the game is random right now with that man coverage. Sometimes you're going to bump into them. Sometimes they're going to bump into you. Sometimes it's going to help you. Sometimes it's going to hurt you. But at the end of the day, you got to keep running the same plays. Hopefully, you get some bumping to go your way, boys. I appreciate it. Like I said, let's get this to 1,000 likes. I'll drop the next game, boys.